we do begin, and I know I'm already reading your comments. You all have a lot to say, and believe it or not, our audience is definitely divided on this. So former President Trump is in New York today where he is getting depo uh, deposed in an investigation into his business dealings. He's refusing to answer questions, taking his Fifth Amendment right, not, right now, actually, uh, to not incriminate himself. So meantime, there is a ton of fallout from Monday's FBI search of his home at Mar-a-Lago. Trump is reportedly feeling, quote unquote, furious yet scared. That's according to People Magazine. Now he feels victimized and is calling everyone he trusts to give him advice and reassure him that this is a witch hunt. He's also saying that Biden knew all about this. We've also got new details on the raid itself. So agents spent nine and a half hours searching the property, reportedly focusing on Trump's office and personal quarters. Although some are reporting they also searched Melania's wardrobe. They took away about a dozen boxes of material. We now have 90 days, you guys, before the midterm election, with many expecting Trump to announce his candidacy, candidacy soon. But the question that a lot of people are asking, including our very own viewers, is Trump a victim of government overreach? What would you say to that, Tori? Um, I want people to be really clear. There's a narrative emerging from the Trump people um, that the FBI needs to be defunded. Marjorie Taylor Greene posted it. Get rid of the entire Department of Justice. They're all political. And if you don't know, the Department of Justice is in a very different branch of the government than the president. They specifically don't speak. I would be surprised if Biden knew about the raid beforehand. That's how separate they're supposed to be because they're judicial, he's executive. If you keep hearing over and over again that they're using the FBI, they're using the FBI to go after people, that is a lie. That is not true at all. In fact, uh, Trump appointed him to be at the FBI. When you use that, you start to tell people, don't trust the Justice Department, don't trust the courts, don't trust the teachers, don't trust the scientists. Who do you trust then? The king, the one man. That's how you get to a dictatorship. That's how you get to fascism. The FBI has done nothing other than ordered an affidavit, which identifies the person, the place to be searched. It identifies the property. It establishes the grounds for the search. They did it legally. And Trump, when they say, if the FBI did it to Trump, they could do it to everyone. That's how laws work. He's not above the law. If he took classified documents wrongly, we should find out, period. Yeah, I, I think where the, pro the pushback comes from, and what you're talking about is very extreme, right? We see the extreme Trumps. We see the extreme Republicans. We see the extreme Democrats. There's still like 80% of the country that's just trying to rationalize everything. And I think a lot of the pushback from the Republicans is that, well, there's a- the Republicans or the Trump Republicans? Because they're two different things. Just in general, Republicans. I don't talk about any extremists at all because I don't care what they have to say on either side. So the general Republican public, right, is saying, well, you're doing this to Trump, right? What about what's going on with Nancy Pelosi and her husband? What's happening there? What about the Hunter Biden laptop? What's going on there? What about the Clintons? Why don't we look into that? If we're going to raid Trump's place, why don't we raid some of these places? That's the rhetoric that other people are pushing back, right? I'm just repeating that. And my own thing is like, if you're going to take this power as Democrats, right? As soon as Republicans get that power, it's going to be the same thing. They're going to start sending FBI, FBI agents out. And now we're not living in a democratic society, which means the United States. We're, we're starting to become like Venezuela. We're starting to become where you said, like a dictatorship, one leader. And I feel like a lot of people, and me included, I just want to put this out there. I'm, gonna, I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. Me included, I kind of feeling like I'm being pushed into a corner just by who I am in general. People assume that I am a Republican. People assume that I'm a Trumper. People assume a lot of things about me that aren't true. And I feel like that's, that's the government fair. and social media pushing back on that. So I, I don't necessarily, if something's wrong and there is something there, definitely get it. I'm with you on right, that. Right. But if nothing, if they find nothing or nothing substantial, right. this is just uniting the Republican Party with agree. the Trumpers and riling them up for the November election, which is midterms 90 days away. Right. And to that point, and Tori just respond to this, including what Jeff said, uh, how are everyday Trump loyalists taking all of this? So supporters are still rallying around the former president with people flocking to Mar-a-Lago to show their support. Now, Palm Beach police have reportedly gotten an intelligence warning that armed pro-Trump protesters are planning on attending. Meantime, there are even threats of violence with some right-wing agitators calling for war. 
So Jeff's point I agree with extremism. Him. I agree with him. Okay. I, I'm concerned. I'm concerned for some people calling for guns, some people saying, when do we start the war? This is on Twitter. These are people with check marks by their name. I'm concerned about a civil war. I think we all should be at this point. It's becoming two very different societies. But you don't like to be conned, right? You don't like when people con you. None of us do. I the, like James Conn. I do. May he rest. Yes. Right? Oh, my I God. I thought we needed a little levity. We did. There. I appreciate Go for it. you. Go for I it. con do this. Um, <clears throat> I will just say this. When you're being told that the next president will do this to the FBI and this president's doing to the FBI, that's not true. You're being lied to. That isn't happening. About what am I being lied to about? When people say they're using the FBI to go give a search warrant to I, go. You didn't, I didn't say that. No, I'm saying when people are saying. But I, I don't appreciate, and I'm saying this respectfully, right? Maybe some people online might feel that way too. I don't like that you're telling me or other people that we're being conned. Because I have my own thoughts. I, I like some of Republican course. thoughts. But the rhetoric that you're just saying gets people agitated. But there are facts, and then they're not facts, and you're learning non facts. And that's what I think is unfair. It's but you, cause you, a civil again, war. you use me as an example. Example. I mean, don't use me as example. Okay. Those people who are very much believing in the sentiment of Trump are being told something that is a genuine, subjective, and objective lie. The FBI is not being politicized. The Department of Justice is doing what they do with a warrant, with an affidavit, and with enough probable cause to do that. If we believe that the FBI is political, then we can cause a civil war for no reason. Over How, a lie. What percentage do you think wants to start a civil war or believes that? Like in your mind, Did what you percentage? Did you see the armed Trump protesters there? I, I want to say that's giving them credit. Maybe 10% of the country thinks that extreme. How do you think that Trump got 71 million votes I'm not the saying, second time I, around? I, I'm not saying that other people aren't Trump supporters in their own way. I would say 40%. I would say I'm right on. 10% are extreme. The other 40%, I would say, are like... I like Trump, but I'm not saying a damn word. Agree, but the 10% almost had a coup in this country. You're right, and, and I don't agree with it. And, yeah, so, and I'm totally with you on I that. And what I think is going to happen is that rhetoric will become the narrative, and it isn't true. The entire people's lives will be lost over this idea that the FBI is being politicized when it isn't. But aren't you pushing the narrative from the other side, though, the 10% on that side now?